Garcashu is a small-scale food production company based in Ghana, renowned for producing the world's finest cashews. Garcashu aims to export its products overseas and believes that its offerings will be well received by foreign consumers. However, as a small company, Garcashu has never engaged in international trade. Like millions of micro, small and medium-sized enterprises, or MSMEs, in developing regions around the world, it faces high barriers and costs that deter it from entering the global market. There are four main issues. Firstly, MSMEs struggle to promote their products and brand, making it difficult to reach potential customers. The current model of internet advertising has evolved into an expensive battle that small businesses find daunting. Secondly, MSMEs face challenges in verifying their credibility. How can importers thousands of miles away trust that a small company like Garcashu is trustworthy? Many importers prefer to assume that all MSMEs are dishonest to mitigate risks, excluding them from international trade. Thirdly, MSMEs find it difficult to manage complex cross-border payments, especially with limited support from banks in obtaining letters of credit or collection services, which often leads to transaction risks. Fourthly, MSMEs struggle to obtain supply chain finance support, constantly finding themselves in a tight cash flow situation. To address these challenges, the Bank of Ghana and the Monetary Authority of Singapore have jointly initiated Project DESFT. Its goal is to provide a comprehensive solution for MSMEs, helping them enter the global trade market and access financial support more easily. Project DSFT was launched in June 2023 and has successfully completed two phases. In April 2024, Project DESFT conducted a real cross-border pilot trade, demonstrating the future of international trade and cross-border payments. Let's take a closer look at Project DESFT. Firstly, Proxterra, a B2B MetaHub based in Singapore, has developed a trade platform specifically for MSMEs to engage in international trade. This platform not only helps MSMEs register, have validated credentials and showcase their products but also facilitates ordering, invoicing, logistics, freight, and payments, which significantly reduces the complexity of international trade processes. Secondly, Ample Fintech, also Singapore-based, collaborates with Proxterra to develop a trusted credential storage and exchange system for international trade based on universal trusted credential standard. Developed by the United Nations Development Programme and MAS, UTC is a trusted digital credential standard designed specifically for MSMEs. In the DESFT system, small businesses like Garcashu can create UTCs for their basic company data, licenses, and transaction records. These credentials, verified by government agencies, industry certification bodies, or business partners, are tamper-proof and traceable on the blockchain, making them easily verifiable by customers and importers, establishing trust in MSMEs. The system also includes W3C verifiable credential technology, which enables compliance without disclosing sensitive business information. The tokenization and exchange system for UTCs, central to Project DESFT first phase, was launched at the Singapore Fintech Festival 2023, where it gained significant recognition. Encouraged by this success, BOG and MAS initiated the second phase, focusing on cross-border payments. Traditionally, international trade payments are complex, involving logistical, contractual, and currency issues, with importers and exporters depending on banks for escrow services like letters of credit and documentary collections. However, these conventional methods are often cumbersome and expensive, limiting MSME participation. Fortunately, the purpose-bound money technology introduced by MAS in 2022 offers an innovative solution. PBM is a new technique that programs digital money for complex and flexible payments. For example, an importer can secure funds in a transparent digital vault visible to Garcashu, ensuring the readiness of funds for confident production and shipment. However, in the PBM settings, Garcashu can only access the funds after successful shipment, delivery, and receipt of compliant trade documents. Additionally, PBM settings are customizable for flexibility, for example, Garcashu might receive a 20% advance after order and invoice confirmation, with the balance paid upon delivery. In Project DESFT, Ample Fintech also enhanced the PBM by integrating it into a semi-fungible token, enabling MSMEs and importers to set payment terms and stages without intermediaries, all of which can be visually configured by Garcashu and its customers. This is the power of PBM. 
PBM will revolutionize cross-border payments. However, to harness the full potential of PBM, digital currencies are necessary. Therefore, we introduced the licensed digital Singapore dollar stablecoin XSGD and the recently piloted Ghanaian central bank digital currency ESADI. Let's take a closer look at the ESADI system. Issued by the Bank of Ghana and enabled by GND, the ESADI can be accessed by authorized financial institutions similarly as cash today. It follows the two-tier distribution approach, so that banks, mobile money service providers and fintechs can distribute ESADI to their end users. ESADI, just like cash and electronic money, is seamlessly exchangeable from one wallet to another as a direct peer-to-peer -peer transaction and can be swapped with any existing form of money in Ghana. In April 2024, a successful pilot trade between Ghana and Singapore was supported by a real cross-border payment experiment using PBM. In this pilot, a Singaporean importer and a Ghanaian cashew company successfully conducted a cross-border trade using DESFT, facilitated by PBM. The importer deposited XSGD into PBM, which Liquid Group converted to eSADI via the DESFT platform, using deposit accounts and eSADI wallets managed by Fidelity Bank. Once the importer confirmed through an authoritative notary the transaction's completion, PBM released the eSADI to the Ghanaian seller's wallet. Fidelity Bank, managing Garkashu's eSADI account, verified the funds from Liquid Group, updated the trade status, and informed the importer of the transaction's completion, enabling Garkashu to seamlessly access liquidity in eSADI. The eSADI system's interoperability with DESFT could significantly lower payment processing costs for Ghanaian MSMEs in cross-border transactions. This lighthouse project is just the beginning. In the next phase of Project DESFT, we will expand PBM's functionality to manage multiple digital currencies and ensure their interoperability. Project DSFT will position Africa at the forefront of global inclusive fintech innovation.